guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com, and we're excited to give you a preview of Manila 2.5, also known as TouchFlow 3D 2.5, that's going to be coming out on future HTC devices. This comes from a ROM from XDA Developers. It's very buggy, doesn't work too well right now, but I can kind of give you a an impression on what it will look like when it ships. Now, we're likely to see TouchFlow 3D on HTC's next wave of devices. So that's the Firestone, the Whitestone. We may see it on the Touch Pro 2 and the Diamond 2 when they get their Windows Mobile 6.5 upgrades. Here's something very, very interesting. Um, this whole interface, the new TouchFlow 3D 2.5, doesn't work well with a stylus. It works very well with a fingertip which makes us possibly think that HTC has a capacitive device coming down the line, especially the Firestone, which looks very, very similar to the HTC Touch HD. It has a lot of the same specifications, although we're thinking that there's going to be one big differentiating factor. It could be that it has a capacitive touch screen. We're hearing conflicting reports on whether Windows Mobile 6.5 will support capacitive screens. Right now, we're going to say right in the middle, it may or it may not, but there's a good chance that it may, especially now that we see that Manila 2.5 does really well with finger uh, navigation and you're going to see a lot of the things have changed to be more finger friendly starting on the main screen so we're going to zoom in a little bit from this main screen we can add a shortcut and we're taken to this add add quick list where we can add a program or contact or bookmark which is pretty cool because you can put pictures right on your main screen of people that you call on a regular basis and i have no contacts right now in uh, this phone so i'm going to go back and we can go to program and this is very buggy. It may freeze during this demonstration. And we can add any program to be an item on the main screen. And so we have Bubble Breaker and Active Sync. We can have a picture of somebody. We can flick our finger and get even more shortcuts right on this main screen. If we flick our finger again, we are taken to the time. If we tap on calendar, we are linked straight to the calendar tab. And of course, this is the new deeper calendar tab. If we go to menu and new appointment, we are actually taken to this new HTC appointment screen. If you remember on the Touch HD and the Touch Pro 2 and the Touch Diamond 2, we kind of had the ugly Windows mobile interface for the new appointment, but now we have a much deeper implementation of TouchFlow 3D through the new appointment. It's very, very beautiful and it really hides Windows mobile a lot. So let's go back over here and next we're going to go to people and people we no longer can flip through pictures of people. I think HTC found that this was very much of a novelty and it makes a lot more sense to have just a grid of people, a grid of pictures that you can click on and you can dial people directly from the screen. So that makes a lot of sense. And furthermore, it's very finger friendly. Um, so you don't have to take out your stylus and try to get something more precise. Um, messages, I have nothing there. Email looks the same, although I haven't set up email on this device. Not sure if that is the same. If we go to internet, we also have a different screen here. We can search Google right from the top here, or we can scroll down and add again finger-friendly links to websites that we visit on a regular basis. And presumably, this will add icons that represent the websites that you're trying to visit. If we go over to calendar, we already know that it goes a lot deeper than it did before on the previous TouchFlow devices. Stocks not connected to the internet, although I'm assuming it's going to be about the same. If we go over to pictures, it's about the same. We've seen this before. We flick through our pictures. We can link to our camera or to the video camera. If we go over to music, this is also going to be uh, very similar. Weather, again, very similar. And it says there's an error trying to connect to the data, which makes sense. And now we have footprints. And footprints was first, first introduced on the HTC Touch Cruise, the new Touch Cruise. Basically, it assigns geo coordinates to pictures that you take. So if you take a picture of a nice Italian restaurant that you found in the city, you can um, assign a place to it on the map so you can get back to it. It looks like footprints is coming to all future HTC devices, which makes a lot of sense. All devices ha have that capability. And then we get into settings where we see a lot more of this deeper integration with Windows Mobile. So if we go through a few of these things, we recognize some screens. We've seen this screen before. It's included on the Touch Pro 2 and the Diamond 2. You can use the nice TouchFlow 3D interface to manage your profiles and the system settings like that. If we go into communications, we're linked actually directly to the communications manager. And again, we've seen this. And then if we go into personalization, things start to change. So we can go into wallpaper and we can choose a picture to make our wallpaper. We can go into home screen, which allows us to move around the items on TouchFlow 3D. 
we can actually change the fonts. And before this was a setting in Windows Mobile in the standard interface. And now we can actually change it right from TouchFlow 3D in this nice environment. If we go back, we can change the contact card and we can also go into advanced personalization settings, which just gives you an option of to vibrate certain items on the screen. So let's go back and see where else there is deeper integration uh, with the TouchFlow 3D. And finally, we can take a look at other things in here, such as phone information, which will show you uh, things about the ROM you're running, and so on and so forth. This ROM is so buggy, uh, this is a pre-release, obviously, that it freezes half the time. I've actually had to uh, reset the device many times while filming this video. So anyway, TouchFlow 3D 2.5 looks to be, bring a lot of, of deeper integrations with Windows Mobile. It really skins the interface so that you're staying in TouchFlow 3D most of the time. Also, there are a ton of finger-friendly enhancements that have been made, which leads us to believe that there may be a capacitive HTC Windows Mobile device coming out in the near future. Um, we'll have to keep an eye out for that. It would make a lot of sense and uh, we'd be really excited to see something like that. So for more on Windows Mobile, follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash pocketnowtweets and subscribe to our channel for more videos on Windows Mobile and upcoming software releases. We'll be back soon with more. That's it for now.